First question is from James Errors 95. What are the best and worst exercises to do cheap reps on towards the end of your set? Ah, uh, good old cheat reps. Cheat, cheat reps refer to the loosening up of form to get more repetitions done to improve the intensity of a particular set. It's a popular method bodybuilders have used for a long time. Now, here's my opinion on, on a cheat rep. I think, if first off, if you're going to do them, you need to be advanced. You have to have good control, be able to connect to the target muscle, but also realize that the that exercises don't all have the same risk versus reward kind of you know ratio, right? Um, some exercises, if your form is off a little bit, you don't increase the risk that much. Other exercises, if the form is off a little bit, you increase, you dramatically increase the risk of injury. For example, Olympic lifts. Olympic lifts, if performed perfectly, are very safe. If your form is off a little bit, it really changes the risk of that exercise. Um, other compound lifts can be like that. Like a deadlift, you want to have really good form. If the deadlift is off by a little bit, the risk goes up quite a bit. Squat, overhead press, very similar. So I think the cheap pre the, the cheat reps should probably be relegated to kind of single joint exercises mm -hmm. or exercises at least where the wrist doesn't go up dramatically because you're loosening up the form. Bicep curls. Yeah. Tricep push downs, yeah. Lateral raises. What else? Yeah. yeah. Like I, I'm trying to think what else I, I have ever done like a cheat rep on. Uh, and you do a shoulder press, but that'd be considered a push press. Yeah, it's a different right? exercise. Right. So it's a different exercise. And there's so, a whole technique to it. Right. So I, that, those are the only three that I can <sighs> think of where I have you, like put body English on it to get to get it up to make it. Yeah, I yeah. think that a better strategy, if you want to increase the intensity by doing more reps, would be rest pause. I think is a little better because with rest pause, you your mean like form cluster is, sets. Yeah, so like, right. Uh, so like, let's say you're doing a set and your form is perfect, and you're like, okay, this is it. Like one more rep, and my form breaks down. Rather than doing a cheat rep, you put the bar down, you wait 15 seconds. And then do another rep, mm -hmm. and there, there you're getting more reps, but the form remains, you know, really good. It doesn't go bad. This is such one of those novelty things that um, if that you you've worked out about. forever, like yeah, it's just I will never do uh, personally. <laughs> um, but also, if I know that there's been, I guess there's there's proper criticism here for cheat reps within like the CrossFit world. So if you're doing kipping pull ups, for instance, I would consider a cheat rep. Uh, that puts way too much stress on the shoulder joint specifically uh, that is problematic. And then also like a um, handstand pushup, I've seen them go down to the ground on a pad where their head gets to the pad and then they kick their legs yeah. to, to get, add momentum for them to pushing up. And, and I get it. So this is where sort of that sport side of it uh, pervades and, mm -hmm. and it, it sort of gets in in the mix of like actual strength training. And so I have a big problem with that, but it's more of the compound lists are, are the most problematic versus single rep where you can have a lot more control. And it's really just about squeezing that last bit of pump instead of, you, you can know, lift the rest of your life and never do these. You don't need to do them. And when you think of all the different, yeah. And, and like think of the benefits. Yes. Like you, what, what extra benefits would when you When you think of all the different techniques and tools and ways to manipulate mm -hmm. your, your training program. I agree. Um, this arguably could be for sure close to dead last, if not dead last, there's just not a lot of other, uh, you know, I can't think of a lot of things that are worse than this as far as the value of it that it adds as far as, you know, different techniques. Yep. Not to mention that most people that probably do it shouldn't be doing it yet because they still don't even have really great techniques. It's a great ego boost, isn't it? Like, oh, I can do another five pounds or I could do another repetition. I don't do cheat reps ever on purpose. Now, I might do them on accident if I'm in the gym and my ego kicks in. And I want to hit an extra couple reps. And I'm sure if I watched a video of myself doing those dumbbell curls, I'd be like, oh, those are kind of a little loose. Or if I'm working out with my buddies and I want to add a little weight, but I don't do them on purpose anymore. I don't see tons of value. There's other ways to increase the intensity of an exercise. You know, going back to what you said about kipping pull-ups, Justin, that's a completely different exercise. That's a yeah. That's a that's a technique gymnast that move. gymnasts use. Yeah. Well, I've seen. I just know because I've seen people actually try like strict pull ups, and then as they get fatigued, start like swinging their body yeah. into it. Which, yeah. It, again, yeah. It is. It's it's supposed to set you up and to get onto the rings, and so that you know it gives you that sort of mm -hmm. transitionary move to do it. But they've 
turned it into an exercise. Yeah, what you need to understand is um, if you are doing, let's say you're doing a set of squats and you're doing really good form and then you go to the point where it's like technical failure, right? Your last rep is the last rep you could do with perfect form. But then you push past that and do like three more kind of crappy cheat reps, if you will. What happens is you're, besides increasing the intensity, which we've already discussed, there's a lot of better, a lot of ways that are better to increase intensity that don't you know, have to do with making your form worse. What you're literally doing is you're training your body to function in a less optimal way. In other words, whatever you train is what you strengthen. So if the last few reps of my set are bad form, I will actually become stronger and solidify that bad form recruitment pattern. Mm -hmm. So over time, this really can start to pose an issue uh, with your technique and with how you live. So I, I, I agree with, with you guys. I don't really see mm. tons of value. And I did when I was a kid because I was like, cool, I could do more yeah, weight. Look at these last few reps I can get. But yeah, if you do it too often, it, it will become a pattern that's a bad pattern that is going to find its way into regular uh, strength training. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.